Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are gonna talk about uh, GrabCut algorithm. This is very similar to the watershed algorithm. You will see uh, the the purpose of these two functions are totally same, but the just the method they are using is different. Methods and algorithm they are using is different. So this function uh, runs the GrabCut algorithm. People are uh, who people who are really interested with the background of this algorithm they can check about here and uh, uh, related pages they can check and they can learn more detailly in this uh, video I will just show how to use OpenCV GrabCut function and how it looks like how it's giving the outputs okay uh, this function just taking input image three channel colorized image and you are giving a mask image this is 8 bit single image and uh, according to the, this will be our output and according to this output we will uh, define our segments we will define our backgrounds and targets okay and we are also uh, different than uh, watershed algorithm we are not drawing lines we are not uh, drawing some uh, lines on the image which are uh, which are our target segments will be we are in this function we are just giving rectangle around your target target objects in the image we will see this more detail in the code part actually these two uh, function not really useful in my opinion because uh, in this one we are already getting all of the background and also we are also getting foreground so these two in my opinion not really important uh, outputs and here is iteration uh, you are defining the iteration number in here how many times grab cut algorithm should be uh, processed so mostly they are using one but you can put five on according to your case you can change this number iteration number and also mod uh, let's see mod also, also here actually in this video I will just talk about this one because this is the most useful and uh, people are uh, choosing this enumerator mostly comparing to others because these are uh, you can if you already giving a mask you can use this with watershed algorithm more effectively so uh, if you already have some mask if you already have some uh, clue about the foreground and background so why you are using grab card in my opinion uh, so I will not talk about this one and I will just talk about this enumerator and these are also same with this one I will focus on this enumerator which one which is the most useful one okay and what does here grab cut classes this is important uh, and after at the end when we get a mask in this mask uh, for example 0 1 2 3 this enumerator continue goes like that so 0 means uh, an obvious background pixels and this one means an obvious foreground pixel and what I mean with these two for example we will draw a rectangle in our target object in the image so uh, so out of this rectangle will be obviously background pixels uh, in this case the definite regions will be used to classify the other regions with the latter being classified into the definite categories by the grab cut algorithm uh, inside the rectangle will be our foreground uh, pixels foreground objects but not at all of course and better let's continue on the code part in last video in watershed algorithm we already used some examples these apples and orange we used to segment these fruits also we use this flow let's uh, use the same example for our grab cut algorithm this is our input image now I will uh, try I will continue to write the code part okay first of all uh, before starting we need to define a mask we need to define these models and also we need to define a rectangle let's define mask and background foreground models this is done let's define a rectangle also in here I will use uh, I will use a function of OpenCV but I will talk about this one in the 
other videos in the next videos because this is not the topic of this video uh, this has just helped me to draw a rectangle on the imshop uh, window that's all uh, this just helps that to achieve and inside will be the image then I will directly call the grab cut and will be image input will be mask will be rectangle will be background model foreground model iteration let's start with one and the mod mod will be the as I told this one will be our mod and let's continue and show me the output as mask let's run the code and see the result here you see that uh, first of all now the code does not continue and stop in this part wait me to draw a rectangle and I am just choosing my target object and it gives me the output in this one so you can you only see black uh, black window but it's not black actually first of all just see this L means uh, the value of the pixel I'm I'm uh, changing in the window just see this part for example this part 0 I'm going inside 3 to some places so is this 2 3 0 has meaning inside this window to be able to use these numbers better adding some other uh, some other line of codes in the code part maybe to be sure of these enumerators we can go on that part okay background obvious background pixels obvious foreground zero one and going in that order okay just to be sure i went there now i want to check all of that mask pixel and wanna be wanna make them more seen in the window so we can understand how it's find how it finds the foreground and the background okay uh, maybe it will be better um, another result to see the result let's clone the input image and let's use this one as output in here I wanna check the mask the people uh, who are not understanding uh, about this usage maybe they can check my previous videos and see more uh, they can understand more clearly in here I'm just checking all of the pixels inside this mask mat so I will change the pixel in the result so to see the more clearly the results okay if this is equal to zero zero means this one an obvious background okay then change the in result part maybe this one better this should be vector 3b because it's not a single channel it's a 3 channel so I need to change that result is equal to this is the first channel uh, which is blue channel BGR let's make it this is background so let's make it black or to make black this is the second channel this is blue red and green channel at all should be zero because this is background this is an obvious background because mask is equal to zero enumerator which means this one let's go on else if 
uh, if it's equal to 1 it means it's an obvious foreground so let's make it blue continue if it's 2 it's a possible background what does it mean the algorithm is not totally sure it's background or foreground it's just giving an assumption so let's make it close to the black maybe we can make let's make it red BGR red color and one more a possible foreground which is enumerator 3 let's make it yellow and at the end see the result in here choose the rectangle okay yeah as you can see uh, the algorithm uh, with one iterator I'm choosing just rectangle my object in here the more better you are choosing this rectangle it will give you more better results so according to the my inputs it's give me this segmentation which is this yellow area uh, which which is uh, totally same with the uh, flowers segments it's just some uh, points in here inside you can maybe with some median or other functions you can uh, cancel these small things you can clean them uh, the algorithm seems works fine let's see one more results let's change iteration I'm choosing and yeah you can play with these uh, parameters so you can see the different results in the function so basically grab cut algorithm uh, expect you to choose a rectangle in your target per uh, target object so it's doing it's uh, it's running the grab cut algorithm to find the segments inside that uh, rectangle and as you can see for this example uh, it's working fine and it's also clarify the background also this red one means the possible background which one uh, which you can uh, which you can say okay this is also background uh, there is no blue area which is the obvious obvious foreground why it's not giving obvious foreground because we are not using the other for example we are not using this one in this one you are giving some references you are saying to the function these uh, pixels are foreground so that's why not the function is not sure it's not giving the blue uh, pixels as a result okay uh, let's see the other example for example let's try apples uh, let's choose a doll as you can see it's doing something kind of like this maybe we can change the iteration as 10 uh, when uh, the, in, uh, the higher number of iteration take higher time okay like this so uh, as to in conclusion we can say that f uh, both grab cut algorithm also watershed algorithm they are uh, they are not and solution algorithms they are not and solution but uh, these functions these two functions are very useful in the middle of your code in the middle of your processes they are uh, at least working some in many cases fine and after uh, you get the result of those functions you can uh, use your own algorithm to continue on your process on your project these functions are kind of like that uh, as I said again you cannot get the exact results with these fu functions both grab cut and watershed you need to continue with their output in your own case yeah I think with this video I'm done just one more function left which is a uh, fluid field in the next video we will talk about this one and we are gonna finish miscellaneous
miscellaneous image processing module we will continue with the new modules okay see you in the next videos